G'day, it's Damned here. Thank you for joining me again for another tutorial session as we continue to build a basic Cyberpunk Red rule set using the rule set Wizards for Fantasy Grounds. So this is what we're going to end up with at the end of today's session. We're going to end up with the top section of our character sheet uh, being more useful for the Cyberpunk Red rule set. So we've shrunk the name field and we've changed the uh, descriptor text down here from name to handle. We've added a field for role and role ability and a number field for your ranks in role ability. Now later on it'd be great to build these out into uh, class and skill links that are drag and droppable from a library um, but at this stage we don't have any of those things in our rule set so just uh, ensuring that they can track those fields for the character uh, are what we're aiming for at this point. Now let's get into it. So we're going to go back to the character sheet today and we're going to work on this top section of the character sheet. And this is kind of a special section in a few ways. Um, we've got some elements in here like the um, portrait and token and we also have uh, this, this particular section is static. It's visible on every single page. On the, every, all of these tabs of the character sheet have this section on here. So um, it is a little bit different to um, other sections of the character sheet. So let's dive into it. Basically, this section here, uh, we want to find that in the XML, and we can find that it's the window class is called car sheet. So we're going to actually create a new window called car sheet. Uh, so we jump into the rule set wizard. It's going to go into campaign where the rest of other character sheet stuff is. So we'll create a new window and we'll call it car sheet. And we're going to join. And we're going to make this 700 by 600. And I have stated in an earlier video when we did car sheet main that I made that 700 by 700 and whilst I did make that 700 by 700 it wasn't what I was expecting so we'll come back and have a look at that later but it is incorrect so we'll do that you can see the size of this frame now um, we also want to set um, the minimum height 700 minimum width 600 and we're going to set the maximum width to 600 also and that will um, basically we only want to allow vertical resizing at this stage we'll come back and look at that later on if, if required and that's might be it for the moment so we'll save that I will update that into our rule set now the next thing we've got in our rule set is um, the name field. So we want to shrink the name field so that we can put a couple of extra fields in here. So we're going to shrink the name field and to do that we don't actually have a string labeled. If we go into our XML we can see that the name field is a data or a no type called string labeled and we don't actually have string labeled in our rule set wizard. So what we're going to have to do is uh, create a just a normal string field and we're going to do some extra funky editing. So we're going to drag it over here for the moment. We're going to get the positioning roughly right. Uh, y position X position I'm going to set the length to about 120. Um, we're going to height 20 is good. We're going to this is where well first we're going to give it a name. Now we're replacing or merging with the other field which is named name. We're going to merge the field with a join, and we need to go to the advanced template and we need to type in string labeled. Go to the custom properties here and we want to add a label 
property name is label and the value is uh, name. Okay. So we'll create that and that should give us roughly 120 pixels wide. So let's push that out. And reload our character sheet. And we can see we've moved it too far to the left. Vertically, it's pretty close. Um, we, we need to move it a little bit further to the right. Lengthwise, it's it's give or take. It's it's about right. Let's just leave it at that for the moment. Now, we want to add an extra field here, and we're going to go back to our character sheet here. Uh, so we've got name is actually going to have to be changed to handle. We want to add a role field and a role ability field and a rank field. Now the rank is going to be a number field. Role ability and role will be label, uh, sorry, text fields. Same as handle or name. So we've got role and role ability. Let's create a new uh, string field. We'll put it in here. What we'll do is line it up. That wasn't quite as one thing. I wanted to line the other way. Uh, we'll see what the height is here. Maybe. Okay, so let's nudge this over a little bit further. Uh, let's make the length of that field 120 again. Uh, the height at 20 is good, the exposition is fine, but we're going to do the same thing here, string, label, custom control properties, we're going to add, and it's going to be label, save that. Now we don't have to merge this, because we do, it's, it's a brand new field, but we have to give it a name. And we're going to call it roll. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, can't see it. Uh, it hasn't shown up just yet, so let's see what we might have done wrong here. Okay. Okay, what we've done wrong here. There's a typo there, should be an underscore. And we'll try and repush that, see if that's the only mistake we made. Fantastic, so we have name, role, and now we want rank, same procedure. Uh, we can even duplicate this field because it's going to be very similar to this one. Let's get it up here, the same alignment. Okay, so we're going to pretty much set this up the same. We're going to go with string labeled. Uh, we'll check the custom properties. And we want to change this to rank. Call this rank. And that's it for the moment. Let's save that. And fantastic, so we've got name, role, rank, and again I mentioned we have to change name to handle, and then we're going to put a number field in here. So we can, because these are new fields now, we'll just drag one of these in, we don't have to worry about um, what the existing data type is or anything like that, or joins or anything like that, that's all um, irrelevant here because we're just adding new data in. So we're going to feel dark is fine. Uh, height, I'm going to try 30. We'll change the width to 25. And we'll give it a name. And it's rank. Um, what have we actually got? So, okay. Handle role, role ability. I've made a typo earlier. This is rank, and the other one should be role ability. Okay, that's fine. 
In fact, what we might do is we might change this from field dark. We might change this to I'm going to go box red. We're going to leave, change the font to reference bold, which is reference B. And we're going to change the font color to white. And let's see what that goes. We'll give it a default value of 1. All right. And let's push this. Save that. Okay, it's going to fail because control name is constrained to be unique and the value rank is already present. I didn't rename this one. This is actually supposed to be rural ability. And I want to change here. I'll call it role ability also. That's the label that appears underneath the field. Save that back out. F1, F6. Awesome. Okay, so we've got name, role, role ability in the field. Look, it's almost perfect. I'll play with that a little bit later. What we'll do is we'll nudge this one over so it pretty much fills this gap uh, properly and we'll increase this by 5 pixels, move it over by 10, increase this by 5 pixels, move it over by 5, and increase this one in length by 5 pixels. And that will probably be just about perfect. But let's just change to get this name changed. Now, we're joining in an existing um, element, and what we probably have to do is create a string to replace that name. We can see here that the label res is car label name. I'm going to search Core RPG for car label name. And we're going to find the string here. Easy peasy. So string label name. Um, let's copy that. We're going to copy all of this because we want the extra data. We'll see why in a sec. We're going to go back over here. We're going to create a new folder called strings. create a XML file called strings and in here we basically we just need this extra um, we just wanted the start data just so we get the formatting of the XML document correct Go back here and we'll also grab the end stuff, which is just a close root. That's it. We can save that, but we want to change the name here to handle. We'll save that. And we'll republish or we'll, we'll, we'll reload. And now name is handle. We have roll and roll ability and the value one here. So, um, and we'll see that this is working on all the stuff. But what we have got is a slight graphical glitch where somehow I've made this panel probably two pixels too big and it runs into the next one. What has actually happened is I've actually created a new frame, uh, this one here, and it needs some white space probably at the bottom and probably left or right. So we're going to quickly just check what I've done there. I've got a graphic frame group box here. I need to create, I need to update that a little bit. I'm going to save this. I'm going to save the file. I'm going to close the rule set wizard. Um, I'm going to pick this up, paste it, but drop it down one pixel. Do the same at the bottom, cut it, paste it, 
left of that one pixel, left and right. Okay, so there's now a one pixel white space around it. Let's just check where we're at here. We're at nine pixels and nine pixels. Um, so I need to make sure that in the frame that uses this, that the uh, offset is nine and not eight. Let's go back into our rule set wizard. Let's um, open our existing project. Let's go to graphics, frames, group box. I'll just re add this frame back in. Field, black, white, there we go. Save that. Uh, when we republish, save. And let's change these offsets to 9, 9, 4, 4. Save that. We'll publish that. Cross our fingers. Awesome. Magic. You can see now that we have a nice gap between all of these elements. That was probably just about perfect. Just that one pixel drop on each edge. Okay. So, uh, that's it for today's session. Um, in this session today, we've created a new character sheet, basically the header section, and we've put some custom data in here. We've added the extra data fields in here, and we've set the size of the character sheet window now at being 600 pixels wide, 700 pixels tall. Thank you for joining me for another tutorial session.